Good morning guys, happy Monday. So we are coming at the end of this month, but we are just gonna be moving into a new gear. Grab a pair of dumbbells. This warm up's gonna start on our feet. So back yourselves up and let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is hands behind your head. We have power squats. Make sure the knees are driving out with the foot. Breathe out on the way back up. So we're going down. Exhale as you guys come up. Keep that rhythm going on. We're gonna to wanna to continue to breathe like that throughout the list today. Good pace. Do a few more. We're gonna ISO hold the last squat. Let's get two more. Ready? One, last one. Stay here and hold. Knees apart. Now we're gonna go into walkouts. No push up needed, no shoulder tap. We're just gonna walk our hands out to a high plank. Take a deep breath when you're there and walk your hands back. When you're doing this, make sure your feet are apart and those hands go underneath your shoulders each time. Don't let those hands crawl out the front of your head. Keep them right at chest height. Keep going, we're gonna get at least two more in. On this, on this next and last one, let's drop down to the knees. We're gonna go right into our alternating fire hybrids. Hands are on the shoulders. I'm swinging my left knee out first. Right knee follows, back and forth. Keep breathing, keep opening up. All right, from here, we're going bird dog. Take that right hand, tap your left knee, and reach opposites and fully across. All the way up and all the way back. Keep going. We're going to switch legs and two more reps. One and two with switch sides. Tap and reach. Keeping that chin tucked, body neutral. Three, two, and one. All right, from here, let's push your hips back, head through our arms. Come back forward again. Arch your upper back. Push those arms down, scoop them back underneath you again. We'll push them through again. Come back up, arch your upper back. Exhale, head through arms. One more time, up and back. All right, we're staying down. This is gonna be a T-spine rotation. All I want you guys to do is take this hand, keep it tight to your body, and hold it to your chest. And I'm just gonna look up and follow my elbow with my hand. Right, follow my elbow with my vision. Small movement, let that shoulder open up each time. Your hands on the ground is underneath your shoulder. Soft elbow. Let's get one more. And switch. Hand folds on chest. Open up the shoulder and elbow. Four. Let's get one more good one. All right, something a little bit different than we did last time. We usually do thread the needle, which is that arm going through your whole pocket and opening up. This is gonna be that reach through, and then it's gonna be a muscle activation. So after I reach through, I'm gonna row. After you have a dumbbell in my hand, my elbow is going up to shoulder height. So I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, that's a little too high. You wanna keep it right at shoulder height. So reach, exhale, and activate your shoulders and your back. Reach, activate. One more time, reach and activate. Let's switch sides. The reason why we're doing all this kind of muscle groups and we're pairing this up is because this whole month we're going to be doing a lot more overhead. And the way to go overhead is you got to also have a lot more mobility and ability to get that shoulder weight into place. And all these little muscle groups are helping out. Let's get one more. All right. Next thing we're going to do is come on back up. We are gonna do a forward, a side, and a reverse lunge all on the same leg. So I'm gonna go right foot forward, right foot sideways, right foot back, and that's gonna be my, my pair. So ready? And forward to start, return back, sideways next, push your butt back behind you, knee and ankle together, push off and go back. That's one, let's do it again. Forward, drive that knee outside, back. Keep that pace up. Around here. Uh, we got one more set. As soon as Kate, yeah, go back. We got one more round. Ready? And forward, sideways, and back. All right, let's switch sides. Forward first, sideways second, reverse back. Forward, side, and back. 
For that side one, make sure those feet are both planted. Don't let your foot, don't let this leg creep out of position. Keep it planted. Fold over. We got one more time going all the way back around. Forward first, side second, back last. Nice. All right, next thing we're gonna do is let's get those shoulder blades into place. Chest up, palms down. Open up to your full range of motion. Once you guys get that big range, reverse it. Open all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Two and one. All right. Let's pick this pace up. We're gonna go into gate swings. Body weight, we're dropping into the squat and popping up fast on the way up. Squeeze your feet, get a good fast rhythm in there. All right, in three, two, one. Relax for a second, we're gonna go into the drinking bird. This is gonna be single leg with a knee drive. So we're gonna fold over, hamstring stretch, knee drive. Fold and drive. Go ahead and begin this with me. Opposite arm, opposite leg if you can. Get your balance in. I got one more. And then switch sides. Lengthen that hamstring and drive that knee up. That was our warm up. Feel free to get a quick drink of water if you need to, and we're gonna go into our first thing in just a sec. Once I find my water bottle. So, with your pair of dumbbells, we're gonna start with a strict overhead press, wide elbows, followed by a front squat, resting the weights on our shoulders into a core exercise, which is gonna be a double legged V up. So, I'll just go over this real quick. Those dumbbells, I want them rested, elbow and wrist are wide. Stance into your split stance with your back heel off the ground or a solid stance like this. When we go overhead, I do not want your weights to be in front of your body. I want you guys to work on keeping your shoulder blades scooped into place and then to be right over your head. Not in front of your head, but over your head each time perfectly. Big, big chest, strong back. So we're going to start out with time with a stiff overhead press. As you finish that up, lower the weight on your shoulders. We're going into a front squat next, followed by the double legged V up, where both feet reach up at the same time and our hands go with it. Let's get rolling, grab onto those weights. A lot. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Wide elbows each time. Breathe out on the way up. Find your rhythm. Just because even if the weights are light, don't go fast. Go slow on the way down, control it, and punch up. Feel your mid back and your upper back working to stay tall. Keep it up. We're right there. Three, two, one. Catch the weight on your shoulders, and we're going right into it. Front squat down, drive up. Make sure not the knees are bending, the butt's going back each time. Good, strong, rip, find your depth. If those arms are getting tired, that's fine. Keep holding those weights up. Five, four, three, two, one more, and weights down. All right, guys, let's take a seat. We're going into those double-legged V-ups next. Remember to breathe out on the way up. Ready, set, go. This is not about how many you do, it's about how well you do them. Control the way up, control the way down. Let your upper body and your legs be in sync. They move together, guys. Keep going. All right, we got five more seconds, trying to get a few more reps. Maybe one or two more. Three, two, time. All right, and relax. So hey, you might've noticed, I'm gonna bet, makes my camera better, Kate. So you might've noticed, during those front squats, if you're holding the bells right, your arms got really tired. Hopefully that was the case. 
You want your elbow to be in front, the weight to be on your shoulder. Let your chest work. If you have the elbows flare out, you're just gonna pound the shoulder away. Hold the elbows in tight, keep the weights here, and use your pecs to hold that weight up as much as you guys can. We are going back in it. We got round two coming up. Let's roll. Grab all of those weights. All right. We got five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Breathe out on the way up. Every rep work on posture. Big chest, strong back, keep that chin tucked, and don't let your knees lock out. Your legs are still there. Strong core. Five, four, three, two, get that last one. One, and drop them on your shoulders. Let's begin. Elbows tight. Looking good, Kate. Keep that chin tucked, looking down in front of you. Keep going. 10 more seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Weights down. All right, we're going into those V-ups. Here we go. Deep breath, feet work together. Ready, set, go. Find your rhythm. Remember to breathe out throughout the rep. Don't wait till after. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, time. Good work. We got one more round here, guys. We got about 35, 40 seconds off still for our last set. Take a deep breath. So we are not going to be doing as many rounds. I know last this whole month we've been used to doing four sets. We are going to just drop it down to three sets, try to get that intensity a little bit higher, but we're also going to go over a lot more lifts this week. So instead of that one major focus, you're going to be seeing us use pretty much every muscle group we can get our hands on today. Take a deep breath. We got one more set. All right. 10 seconds. Hey, my uh, cue for you guys this time, especially for those of you who might not have the best shoulder like, posture to begin with, this shoulder blade, this guy right here, you want him to think about going into your, say you have a jean pocket song, like jean pants, you want that big shoulder blade to scoop it into your shoulder. Think about putting it into your back pocket like a wallet. So when you scoop back, that's the position. Put your chest big and your posture's tall. So keep that in mind when we're going overhead here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Shoulder blades back, chest up, and get rolling. You do not want to bring the well, bring the weight so high that you're out of position. You only go as high as your shoulders let you. Keep breathing up. Looking good. We got ten seconds right here. Punch it up. Strong core. Five. Four, three, two, front squat, let's go. Keep going. Three, two, and one. All right, weights down. We got V-ups last time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Keep breathing out on the way up. Legs and body work together. This is about getting your upper back off the ground each time, guys. Really get those shoulder blades up. Keep 
Keep fighting, keep fighting. We're right there. Five, four, three, two, and time. All right, good work. Catch your breath. Get some water if you need to. We're going to go into our next triple set to a tri set. We're going to be working on deadlifts, RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, and we're going to go bent over row and sprinter crunch. So the RDL is a little bit different than the actual main deadlift. You're not going to go as low. We're stopping right below the knees and thinking more about the hip hinge and less about the quads. Starting here, legs back, big error people do is having their upper body reach for the ground. Everything up top is super stiff. You're making your hips do all the work for the lowering phase. My arms don't move. I'm lowering down. That is my range. This is my mobility. This is where my hamstrings feel the most. I'm going right below that kneecap. And you'll notice my knees, I'm not gonna let them shoot this far forward. Yeah, I have a little bit of a bend in mine. I have tight hamstrings. But when we're here, you can see my shin angle is almost vertical. You have a little bit of a bend here. The idea is to keep them back a little bit more, back flat, pop up. After we're done doing that, we're gonna go into a split stance for the bent rows and then switch the stance. So what I mean by split stance, one knee forward, one leg back, both arms are rowing. When I say switch, when I say halfway, switch your feet, it's gonna work your core differently. I'm gonna keep going with the bent over row. Don't let this happen. It's not tight and close to your shoulder blades. It's wide and pulling back. Make yourself long. And afterwards, we got sprinter crunches. You guys know that one. We do them all the time. All right, here we go. Let's grab all that weight. We're going RDL to start. Think about this. It's the speed of the hip movement on the way up. Snap up each time. Go slow on the way down. Let's keep it with my pace. Here we go. Five seconds. Two and one. Slow, pop. Slow, pop. Squeeze your butt throughout that left on the way up. Squeeze your feet down if you're barefoot. Keep going. All right, guys, we've got five seconds. We're gonna bring one foot back and go into bent over rows. And two and one. Split stance, fold over, and row. That forward leg is taking a lot of the weight right now. You should be making that front leg tired. We're gonna switch legs in three, two, and switch legs. Right back in it. Five seconds. Two, one, relax. All right, sprinter crunch on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Drive that knee up each time. Ready, set, go. It's 20 seconds right here. Breathe out and drive your body up. Looking good. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and time. All right, gang, we got 30 seconds off. Take a deep breath and get yourself ready. I'll give us a countdown. I'm also gonna change my camera angle a little bit. Kate, you good seeing me or am I a little too low on the screen? I'm good? All right. Cool. All right, 30 seconds goes by really fast. We got 10 seconds. Here we go. Grab all that weight. Shake your arms out for a second if you need to. We're going to get rolling. Deadlifts to start. Three, two, one. Blow the knees, stand up strong. Breathing out the whole time. Keep your core tight on the drop. Don't let your core turn off and your belly to relax on the way down. 10 more seconds. Three, two, split stance rows, go. Dominate that front leg, your heel is down. You put all your weight into the quad right now. Three, two, one, switch. Keep breathing, we're right there. 
Elbows back. Three, two, one. All right, we got sprinter crunches. Here we go. Five seconds. Two, one, begin. Keep breathing and driving that knee up. Hand goes to shoulder height, other hand goes behind your waist. Find your rhythm, let's keep it up. Again, big reminder, do not wait to breathe till after you come up. Breathe out, throughout it, and time. Nice job. All right, two sets down, we got one more set to go. Deep breath. Uh, 25 seconds still. Yeah, I'm still sitting, I know. <laughs> it's Monday. Time to stand up. We got 10 seconds, guys. Take a deep breath. Remember, the hips slide back. The hamstrings get long. Don't reach the bell down. Keep the blades back. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Keep going. Breathe out, come all the way up. Shoulder blades stay in place. Keep that up, okay? Three, two, one. Split stance rows. Two, one, switch. Here's those legs, stay low. Three, two, one. Oh, spinner crunch. All right, five seconds. And three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, time. Good work. All right, catch your breath. So, what we're gonna do next is another tricep. We're gonna start out using upper body, which is body weight. If you wanna use the dumbbells for this, you can put your hands on them, but these are gonna be push-ups, slow and steady. Think of them like a plank, and then we're gonna actually let your chest hit the ground. On the way down, you're releasing. On the way up, you're pressing up like a plank. It's not gonna be upper body first, lower body second. Here's what I mean by that. I don't wanna see this happen today. We're not gonna go down and then bring this part up first and that part up second. I want the hips to be slightly higher than usual. Drop down, chest hits. You can see my butt's still up. Everything moves as one unit. So we're gonna be releasing the weight down. Hit the ground with your chest. Be there for as long as you need to. Adjust your position and drive up. Here's your cue. If you are someone that wants to work on the arms more, body stays really tight, elbows and hands are tight. If you wanna use your chest and your shoulders more, flare out slightly, as you two degrees. Hips stay up core stays tight. We're going to push ups first. After push ups, we're going to go right into with a dumbbell. We're going one dumbbell here and it's going to be a cannonball squat. So heels are touching, toes are out, weight is right here and we're squatting right at our chin. Wide knees, big depth each time. And then the third thing we're going to do for core, that bell is going to be out in front of me like this or down and we're going to go back down on our elbows and we're doing a reaching plank. My bell is out in front, right hand goes to the left side of the bell, left hand goes to the right side of the bell, and you're reaching out, keeping your chin tucked. Look down, don't look at the bell, it's not going anywhere. You gotta reach for it, 
keep the chin tucked, spine neutral. But let's start with those push-ups for the beginning. Hands down. If you want to use the dumbbells, you can. Otherwise, keep your hands underneath the shoulders. You ready to start? Let's do it. Feet are slightly apart. Let's start in a high plank. So we're going to be up in the air to start. Ready, set, and go. We're slowly lowering down. Chest hits. Drive everything up at once. Do not lead with your head. Your head stays back, your chest stays up. Slow and steady. Guys, it's been 20 seconds, I'm only on my fifth push up. Go slow. Five more seconds, try to get one or two more. Three, two, and one. Good work. Grab on that one bell you had. If your bell is super light, you can use two bells. Like Kate, if you want to use both, don't hold back for that. Heels almost touching, feet wide, knees wide. Ready? And go. Cannonball squat each time. Lower down, knees go way wider. Find your depth. Fight to find how low you guys can get in this one. Keep it up. We got two more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, bring that bell down in front of you, starting in a low plank. Push your toes forward. Ready, set, and alternating reach. Go ahead. Keep breathing out and reaching up. Chin stays tucked. Guys, we're looking down. Bring those hips down below you. Don't let them pop up. Ten seconds, come on. Heck, if you're on your knees, that's fine. But keep those hips down, guys. Three, two, one. All right, here's what I mean by that. Hey, if, if you watch yourself or record yourself or if you can just feel it happening, right, if you see yourself doing this and reaching, odds are you're gonna get more out of it by crossing your feet, bringing your hips low, and reaching low again. We're trying to feel this in the lower outside abs. Going to the knees is not a bad thing if you can bring the hips down. So that's just a little bit of a heads up for anyone that might be feeling like that. That being said, we're going back to push-ups. This is 30 seconds. You can take breathers. You can hang out down low, but it's your time to kind of play with your angles. This time, be aware of your hand and wrist position. And if your wrists are pointing one way or if your palm's collapsing and the elbow flares out, just be aware of that. Wrist to elbow, they should be stacked. You can't see my elbow right now. But what I mean is, now you can. That means that this is a crappy push-up. Leverage system. Your elbow and your wrist should be stacked. Here is good, here is good. But if you guys are here and flaring out, that's a different kind of push-up, and actually it could be bad for your wrist. So just keep that in mind. All right, next set. Enough talking from me, let's get moving. Here we go, three, two, one, and push-ups. You got 30 seconds. Find your range. Keep your head back, chest up. Same thing, go to your knees if you need to. Keep breathing out as you punch up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Hop on up, grab that bell. We're going cannonballs. All right. Ready, set, go. Keep breathing, good pace. Chin stays tucked, find that depth. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, bell down. We'll go on plank, reaches next. Reach across your body, we'll start in five seconds. All right, two, one, begin. Whew. 
Head down, chin tucked, keep reaching and keep breathing. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. For the last for a second, we got one more set. Keep grinding, guys. Woo! Big breath in, deep breath out. It's a good feeling. If you're out of breath and you're doing these kind of movements, you're, that means you're lifting the right way. Being tired is not just gonna be cardio based. The way we lift increases that heart rate as well. So keep that in mind. Your heart rate should be pretty high right now. Big breath in. I almost don't want to look at the clock. I want to wait till I get my, my heart rate down. I'm pumped. <laughs> All right, that's been 40 seconds. Let's give ourselves a full minute off. So we got about 20 more seconds off and we'll get rolling. Push-ups, cannonballs, and that plank reach. First thing we're gonna do, put those shoulder blades in that back pocket that we're supposed to be putting them in. If you're on your knees, that's fine too. Strong hands, don't let your wrist take all the weight. Use your entire hand. You have big hands and fingers popping out this way for a reason. Use your whole hand for that ground contact. Here we go, three, two, one. Breathe out every time you come up. We're right there, guys. Keep going. Don't let those hips sink. Bring them up. Three, two, and one. All right. Let's go back to that cannonball. Grab onto that weight. Ready, set, go. Keep breathing and keep driving up, guys. Keep your pace. Knees go out wide past your feet. All right, three, two, one. Weight down. All right, set up for that plank. This is your last time doing this time. Take a deep breath. Remember, knees are fine. Ready? Set, go. Keep breathing and reaching. Five, four, three, Two and time. Nice work. We got some time off. Get some water. That was your third set. Our finisher is gonna be two rounds today, so get some water if you need to get your heart rate down. We have two more sets. We're gonna change things up, and we are out of here. All right. We'll go in narrow stance. Kettlebell, it's gonna be a, sorry, dumbbell swinging motion. What we're gonna do is, we've done this in the past. It's a tricep extension, it's a bicep curl, and it's an overhead press, followed by your leg doing that swing. So, with your weights, narrow stance. I'm, I'm right here, my feet are really close together. I'm gonna hinge back, lock up my triceps, curl the weight to my shoulders, and then I'm pressing overhead throughout that. So I'm going. Back, curl, press, down. Back, curl, press, down. Hey, keep your knees vertical. Don't let your knees do this for you guys to get down. My knees are here, my back is flat. If you have an issue with your low back, 
yeah, go ahead and make this more leg dominant and be here instead. Now, if you're feeling strong, not like this, but like this. Lengthen the hamstrings each time. All right, two sets. We're going with 25 seconds on, some core work, two rounds. Here we go. Got one on your weight. Three, two, one. Go right through it, make it fluid. Narrow feet, guys. Three, two, and time. All right, we're on the ground. We got traditional, regular knee grabs. No weight needed. Hands under chin. Curl those feet towards you. Ready, set, go. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and time. We are down to our final set of the day. Yeah, you got it, Kate. Big breath in, find that energy you got left, and let's get rolling. We got 20 more seconds off. Ten seconds. Five. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right there. Five seconds. Get time for two more. And time. Right, let's finish this fast knee grabs. Whatever you got left in the tank, get it out now. Ready? Three, two, one. Find that rhythm. Breathe out, drive up. Five, four, three, two, time. Good work. Let's take a second to stretch out, deep breath. I want to start out with that butterfly stretch. So plant those feet together, work on your posture. From here, all I'm gonna do is take one leg back, and we're going into that pigeon stretch. And switch. From here, I'm just gonna roll over to my side angle and I'm gonna get that quad. So grabbing that ankle behind you. And switch. Upper body stretches. We're going to start with that arm across your shoulder blade. Sorry, arm across your chest, I mean. Right here. Open up and switch.
Up and over. Switch. Guys, have a good rush on Monday. Okay, I'll catch you tomorrow. Get ready for another hit class. We're gonna change paces. We're gonna be moving away from that hurricane set. It's a new month, and we're gonna be going into more of an energy circuit based thing. So the hurricane will be different. It'll be a little bit, a little bit of a change up. That's all. Have a good one.